Hey, welcome to Powerline. I want to show our new unit for the 2020s. Honda's put a small fortune into, into putting on a new motor. It's high torque. It's the highest CC unit they got. I like that CC. It's 800 CCs. Uh, so it's the IGX 800. Uh, it is fuel injected. We love fuel injection for high elevation, low elevation, automatically adjusts rather than a carb. Our carbureted units, I will say for our Vanguard, has been primo, you know, Vanguard's Toyota. So you got Toyota versus Honda, a real war going on, which I love. Uh, as mentioned in our operation video, this is a real high torque motor. So we're able to achieve eight gallon a minute out of this unit. The GX690, no way, no how can you get the power that you can get out of this. GX690, look it up, it's 22 horsepower. This thing's 28, plus it's got a ton of bottom end torque, which is what we look at when we design our big industrial equipment. I think that's what gives us an edge in this industry, is we build the biggest, baddest blasters, water blast units. Take a look, we're getting ready to ship out monster units today. It's what we do. So I think that gives us a, a leg up over anybody in the industrial supply industry. And then we're, we're accustomed to building high output units that are built to run north slope of Alaska to uh, Perth, Australia. I've got units over there. I've got units out on the islands. We're on every island in Hawaii. Uh, our, our representation's worldwide, so we can ship anywhere. When somebody wants quality, US made product, that's what we're about. So we, we knock on the old toolboxes. Starting with the trailer, it's our design. It's fully engineered to haul the load and, and, then, and then handle it. So you go put a ton of water on a regular trailer, you're just asking for trouble, man. Uh, we, we bless the lucky stars. I, I think we've tried to do it right. We're not perfect, but wow, we got a lot of these out. And so far, so good as far as what a super solid trailer. Uh, so the trailer's your foundation. We got an adjustable hitch on here. It's just getting ready to go out. Uh, heavy duty ram lift there. Custom made toolbox. Our toolbox is made in Arkansas, another great US company. Uh, back to the washer. So we got a great power plant. If you want Honda, we got it. Before we've always said, go with the 23 horsepower Vanguard. It's still a great position priced product. Our 23 horsepower, HD 23. We're gonna keep that going here all th probably through the 2020 as long as we can get engines. Uh, but it's a good alternative to the 35 horse Vanguard. Similar torque range. The 35 were able to achieve 600 more PSI with 8.5 gallon a minute. Where this is going to run solid, solid 8 at 3,000. So, gives you an idea. We've got our exclusive control box. It shows temp, on, off, fuel, the fuel's running. Got your nozzle holder. Take a look at the stainless steel. This military grade stainless steel. I know some of our older pictures on the web show a painted frame. This is far superior. It's not going to rust out. It may not be the prettiest, but against the black, it might be, right? Uh, dual filter system to protect the pump. I think that's part of why we have such tremendous luck. I don't know if I mentioned that the relief valve, we're the only company in the country we use that on our big, big machines. Average relief valve is three to six months out in the industry. Uh, we're averaging three years. So, ten times better, man. Downtime's costly. You can go buy uh, two or three of Joe Blow's or whoever's brand that's out there. Take a look at it. They have a little tiny heater. Uh, they don't belt drive. Maybe they're direct drive. Yeah, there's ways to build them cheaper, but man, alive. You don't you don't want downtime. We're not perfect, but holy smokes, it all starts with the engineering. Another exclusive engineering feature that we've got 
is an evaporative catch tank. It catches all the evap that comes out of the coil because they sweat when they get hot, especially in the uh, high humidity areas. That's pretty good with no coffee yet today. Like, generally speaking, we got a uh, soap tank and an antifreeze tank. Uh, so you can antifreeze this going into a warm market, so we don't need to do that. Take a look at the gussets and the work. You know, the step plate, diamond plate. This fender's not falling off. Uh, diamond plate still decks, powder coat. We're staying with powder coat. I mean, maybe it's not the very, very, very best. I mean, some automotive paints might be better, but powder coat's pretty dang good. Okay, backside. Let's take a look back here. Come on back around, Freddy. Back here you got, come on from this angle. So we got the dual hose reels plus the fill hose reel. On off valves, premium German valves. Uh, hoses, you know, we we buy a 6,000 PSI premium hose. It's held up really, really well. So these are made in the US as well, our hose tracked, Indiana. So, uh, nearly all this is U.S. product, we're U.S. based as well, and we're one of the last ones are U.S. based. So if you want to go hot, I guess that's my point. We now feel really confident that you got the power and efficiency of a great Honda motor, plus you got service centers as well, just like Briggs & Stratton, which is Vanguard. Uh, Toss, we've got any information? Oh, look at these gun holders up here for the dual lance regular. Uh, ladder rack, we can also put lights, toolboxes, we can really gussy this up. We also have our new soft wash system. I know it's not perfect, nobody's is, but I'll tell you, it's a good, it's a good soft wash system. So if you're going to do soft wash, we've got that, or if you want to spray, um, you know, chlorine based products, uh, we, we've got those. Great, cost. Take care. Thanks for tuning in.